Hi, it's Nell and the weather is warming so that means it's time to start the repotting and today I am going to be repotting a jade plant. So if you like videos about gardening both indoors and outdoors be sure to subscribe because I have a lot more videos coming your way. I just got home from Scottsdale a couple hours ago and I went plant shopping up in Phoenix with a friend who I was staying with and I just wanted to show you a few of my new babies. These are ones I don't have. <laughs> it's, it's getting hard to find ones I don't have. But this is the Swiss cheese vine. The Philodendron Silver Stripe. Ooh, I love these. Rat tail cactus. Philodendron Prince of Orange. A snake plant. This is Hanai Jade. Solid green satin pothos and three different types of arrowhead plants which I'm gonna plant into one hanging planter. I'm gonna see how that goes. Grow pots can always use those 10 inch size. Cork mats always handy to have and some really pretty containers because I love containers too. All right clearing the table onto the jade plant. So here is the jade plant and the container I'm going to plant it into. I'm going to directly plant it into this container. I love this one. I actually got two of these and I was happy to find a variegated jade because I had one growing in my garden in Santa Barbara. And now I'm going to grow this one as a house plant. And the reason why I want to repot it is because it was growing as a four inch plant and it was put into this six inch pot and the soil is way down here and the root ball is, is sticking up a bit on it. So I just, I just want to give it some new fresh soil, give it room to grow in here and uh, it'll be all set to go because it is the beginning of March. I think it's March 9th or 8th. So um, it's going to have a nice long warm season to grow. And if you're new to my channel, I am in Tucson, Arizona. So March 8th, the, the temperatures have already warmed. The evenings have warmed. So I can start doing all my repotting now. And I have a lot of, of repotting to do. I'm going to be doing a lot of repotting videos for you, but I'm going to be spacing them throughout probably the summertime more into fall. So stay tuned for repot for more repotting videos. I showed this in my last video, which was a guide to repotting. You should definitely check out the blog post on that because that has a lot more information than the video. But, but you can see where this is sticking up here and it's all pulled away from this side of the pot. So it uh, needs some nice new soil to grow into. Oh, and one thing I want to tell you before I go on is that this mix applies to all jade plants. There are many different types of jades. I had five or six different ones in my garden back in California. So this would apply to the, you know, the solid green jades, you know, the sunset jades, these variegated jades, all, all of them. They all like this mix I am going to share with you. So this lovely pot only has one drain hole in it and it has a saucer attached to. Usually succulents prefer something like this or they do prefer something like this you know multiple drain holes so this first step that i am going to do you can skip unless you are directly planting yours into a decorative container with one or two drain holes only okay so this is what i'm doing i'm really good about being easy on the water but i just want i just want to make extra sure that it's not going to get too, too waterlogged and succumb to root rot. So what I am going to do is I'm going to put just a layer of these clay pebbles on the, on the bottom, probably only about maybe an inch at the most, half an inch. And these I got because I'm going to be replanting my big Dracaena lease into a big pot. So I need it a lot, but you can also use lava rock, any kind of, you know, pebble or rock will do if you want to. Make sure that the drainage is really good. Ooh, it's 
the first, you know, it's the first time I've used these. They're interesting. They sort of look like cocoa puffs. Huh. Okay. So I have a layer on the bottom. Great. Hmm. Always fun to discover something new. And then over that, I'm going to put about half an inch to an inch layer of charcoal. And what charcoal does is it also aids in the drainage, but it absorbs any odors too. You know, charcoal is all the rage for you know, cleaning our teeth and all that too, to also clean us out. <laughs> so it sort of serves the same purpose here. And it could be mixed in with the soil too, but I wanted to put it right on the bottom where some moisture might collect, but I don't think it is because this is almost a guarantee it won't. It is time to get the plant out of the pot. And I think this one is going to come out fairly easy. Jade plants are quite heavy because they store a lot of water in their stems and their leaves. So if you get a really, if you have a really big jade plant, you're probably going to need a couple people because even this smaller one has got some weight to it. So I don't like a lot of this soil here. It's just all coming off, off of there. So I'm just going to go and just kind of take as much of it off as I can because I want it to be in the nice new fresh soil. Yeah, giving it a fresh, a fresh start for spring. So I'm just going to do that. I don't want to take too much more of it off because I'm getting into the roots now, but this is a very light soil here, but I'm just going to shake a little bit more off and start to get the plant in the pot. And the mix that I'm using is my DIY succulent and cactus mix. There is a recipe for it down below in the description box. Um, I love it. The cactus and the fleshy succulents really, really like it. It's very chunky. It's very well drained. It's very aerated and that's what succulents need because again, they can rot out easily if they hold too much water. And if you use a store-bought succulent and cactus mix, that's just fine, but it may be a little bit too heavy. So you might have to add something to it. Like, you know, this is chunks of pumice here and also perlite. I might add a little bit more of the pumice into this pot. I'm, uh, I'm going to see just because it is directly planted in and also, of course, sealed ceramic pots don't breathe. So I might add a, a little bit more pumice to this mix. I'm going to see. Here's that mix close up. You can see how nice and chunky. It's very light, hardly weighs anything. So I'm going to get some of it into this pot. Let me get the scoop. <laughs> oh, get it kind of spread out a bit in there over my layers of drainage and odor control. <laughs> Let's see. It's just going to pull down a little bit. I think I'm just going to put a hair more in here. And I think I am going to put in another handful or two of the pumice in this, you know, layer here. I don't think I'll put it around the top just because I want to make sure those roots get lots and lots of aeration going on. Okay, so let's see. Put you in there. It's hard to tell because the root ball's up here and the, you know, the top of this soil is here, so. Oh well, but it, it actually gives it plenty of room to grow in here because uh, I took off, I took off some of the layers of the soil. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put probably soil into about up to here. And then I'm just gonna put a sprinkling of compost in and then I'm going to top with the rest of the mix. And I use a local organic compost. I've done a whole blog post about how I feed my plants with worm compost and compost. And when you're using 
them for house plants you just have to be really light-handed because it can be too strong for them but it's a great way to nourish them oops and see old old top heavy birth is about to fall out here what i'm doing before i add the compost is i'm packing the light succulent mix down a bit because it is going to compact and the plant keeps on falling over a bit because it's so heavy now it's you know it's gonna be fine once i get this all done but i just want to okay there we go you just have to pack it in to get it to uh steady the root ball in there on this plant anyway because it is it does weigh quite a bit and now i'm i'm going to come around the front and see that it's straight too because it looks straight from here and then this is the uh, compost i'm just going to put a few sprinkles around here then top with the rest of the succulent and cactus mix okay the mix is all filled in around the sides i didn't add any more of the pumice you know just that at the bottom as i think i told you <laughs> and now this is oh no that's compost oops I want the worm compost and this is a local worm compost um, I oftentimes use you know worm gold and that is actually the brand that is on my Amazon page that's fine to use too but this is nice and rich and dark and gorgeous so I'm just topping it off with a layer of this just for it a little extra oomph and just packing it down a little bit not like tougher harder anything but just a little bit so okay so that gives it a little bit of nice nourishment at the top and the best time to plant a jade plant is spring summer into fall um, I'm doing it in very late winter because I'm in a warm climate or in a climate with warm winters anyway hot summers <laughs> and i can also do it into fall too but spring and summer are the best times <sighs> so now the table's cleaned off and it's just my beautiful variegated jade and i so what i'm going to do now is what i do with succulents i let them settle in for anywhere from one to seven days i know that's a long range but something like a string of pearls especially in a warmer climate like this I would only let them settle into the new mix for like a day or two before I watered them but this because it has such thick stems and these are really thick leaves too I'm gonna let it stay dry for about five to seven days um, depending on how much sun and how warm it is before I give it a good thorough watering so a quick recap this planting mix and the steps are the same for all of the jade plants no matter if it's variegated solid has the chartreuse tinge to it as i said there are many jade plants it's all the same you would use succulent and cactus mix i use a diy succulent and cactus mix if you're using one which you think is a bit too heavy then add some pumice or some perlite or some of those clay pebbles to the mix oh and by the way those are all in my amazon store too you can check those out as well as succulent and cactus mix if you don't want to make your own and i directly planted mine in so i put some things to add in the drainage at the very bottom but you don't have to do that if you're doing it into a regular grow pot with many drain holes or at least four drain holes <laughs> and when will i repot this again i probably won't repot it for at least five years jades can actually grow as bonsai specimens too i've seen really large ones in very small pots but um if the root ball hasn't grown that much because it was pretty small I'd imagine it will because it's in, in a nice new soil I would repot it just to give it some nice fresh mix but as I said 
not for at least five years. And in general, most, you know, succulents grow very tight. They don't have a really extensive root, you know, system. So you don't have to rush to repot them. So be sure and check the blog post because it'll have a few more details. Actually, I think I've gone over most of the details in here, but it'll have the links to all, all the materials used. Plus the DIY succulent cactus mix recipe will be in there. You know, it's also in this description box too, but the blog post will have the links to pumice, perlite, all that good stuff. I hope you found this video about repotting jade plants to be helpful. I have a lot more videos coming your way, so stay tuned for those about gardening both indoors and outdoors. I thank you for your likes and your subscribes. I really appreciate them. Now let's get out in our gardens or into our indoor gardens and make our worlds a more beautiful place. As always, I thank you so much for watching and I will catch you in the next video. Bye.